I sure hope I've been focused, man, because I'm still rolling. I'm still in the same clothes. Boy, I'm still drinking the same latte from the coffee machine. That's pretty cool. It's really cool. Again, watch that. Go watch that now. Today, we're going to look at in bricks again. You guys like the last video of the Kumon in bricks? If not, maybe you'll like this one. So, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Up, Scott. I'm Scotty. How you want to be? We review sets like this, which you definitely have not seen. Or maybe some of you have. Anyway, if you don't like what I'm doing, suck my bricks! We're gonna look at three sets from InBricks because it's still Chinese New Year's. I got these two little itty bitty Chinese New Year theme sets. We're gonna look at really fast. And then y'all wanna stay here tuned and watch this one because this one is pretty freaking cute. I'm gonna say cute a lot in this video, okay? So the first two sets we're gonna look at is InBricks Chinese New Year Teddy Bear Collection theme. You got the Koi Fish, 881501. And we got a little tempo thing, 881502. They do not specify how many pieces are in these sets. Here are the boxes. They're really nice. They have that lost type feel to it. And these are not mini bricks. These are standard bricks, okay? Chill, don't worry about it. If they're mini bricks, I will tell you. These are standard Lego size bricks. And yeah, I just like doing this because it's nice and shimmery. Very Chinese New Year. There you go. You can see the sets are again. A very small, you don't need a box this big. So if you want a box, you can, you gotta pay for it. Here's the booklets. Very small and thin. Yeah, there, like, whoa, whoa, do, 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 do. Uh, easy to read, right? Oh no, you know what? What I didn't like about it? They put the logo of the bear behind the instructions. Sometimes they get really clustered looking. That was the only thing. Yes, unfortunately, both of these sets have stickers, but they also have some prints. Easy to read, otherwise. Which one we look at first? Let's see if you guys are gonna guess right. Okay, we'll look at the, the, the fish. So each set comes with a little tiny bear. The bear looks really angry. They're like new kind of figures. Kudos to them. It looks cute though, the printing looks okay. And Oh yeah, you do have to construct quite a bit of him. If I take off his hat, take off his hat. You don't have to have the hat on there. Take off his head, there. Take off his pants, there. Oh, drop this. And you pull out the arms, there. I'm gonna do this one time. There. There. Oh, there. You make him look naked with this piece on, this on, and then the head as well. The head is actually split into like, Two. I'm trying my best, yeah. Ugh. I can't do it, man. But on the inside, there's actually another piece there that is the ears. You'll you'll know when you when you do it if you buy this from me, which is available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. You're probably wondering why it's so expensive, because these there well there's nothing to really license, but these are original designs. And in case you didn't know, Imbrix is part of Panlos. So keeping this short and sweet, super easy to build, super fun, no missing pieces on this one. And it has a mechanism in here, it comes with one little rubber band. You might be like, why is it so hard to position in the book? And it was a little bit tricky here under the water area where the rubber band goes. It tells you like kind of go over a brick and that was like impossible to do. Still functions and still works fine. The thing is it's supposed to rotate this thing, but it's not like a small, it's not like a nice rotation. It's like a slot machine. So when you pull down here and you let go, it goes like that. That to me was like really unique. I'm like, oh, that's why the rubber band is kind of placed in a weird position, but I got it to work just fine. That doesn't want to work anymore. So there you go. So it needs to snap back. So you need to make sure you have the room inside to do it. And it tells you like kind of wrap it around the gear, but if you don't wrap it nicely, it'll just like fly off. So be careful. Just try to get it in there and hold it in. And I like that, look at that. That's so cool, man. Good luck, good luck. Get all your gold, get all your money. Unfortunately, all the signs are stickers. There you go, that's all you need to see. You know, good luck charm and all that kind of stuff. The fish is actually all printed, the gill, which I thought was pretty cool. And you can kind of articulate the fish a little bit. You can like move the tail, move his body there, move his head up and down a little bit more if you want to. I like the water. Actually, it's pretty, this is a pretty cool set, man. But it's just small little chi right there 
and I think this is like a moon, like a half moon. And no music box, no batteries, no lights, thank goodness. Surprising with a slot machine thing. I'm like, yo, that's the first time I've kind of done something like that. It's fun to do that over and over and over. I don't know how long that will last, but there you go. That's the fish. We don't need to see that anymore. Let's take a look at the temple one, the bear. The only difference is his outfit is a little bit different on the front there. I like the printing. And I like how they're totally different. If you're complaining like, oh, it's a minifigure, it's a copy, Scotty. You know, these guys are pretty cute. I like them, they're okay. Unfortunately for this one, I was actually missing one piece of the back of the moon here. It's supposed to be like a curved piece. We can actually source missing pieces for you guys, but it's quite complex if you're gonna do it by yourself. You have a little card, you have to scan the QR code, you have to talk to them in Chinese, you gotta to prove to them and fill out a form. So we handle all that for you guys. And you just gotta make sure you have your order number if you ordered from us, because that's the procedure. We have to do it that way. But anyway, I can always source that later, but it still kind of looks like a moon right there. This one is like a temple in the sky type of thing. You know, it's just very gaudy Chinese New Year theme. Oh, I like that. I didn't even notice that pattern until now. And unfortunately, yes, still more stickers on the wheel parts, on the little awning pieces here, the rooftop parts. However, this, this is a print on the back of the bear. That's unique. But I like the cloud look and I do like the moon. I still think it looks pretty okay. And once again, it does have that slot machine thing here. So if you go like that, you go Poof. Wheel of Fortune. I remember it was a little bit tight. Oh, you can kind of see it like not spinning all the way around. Oh, it got caught there. Oh, there we go. That's like a lot better now. Big one. You can actually kind of just like stretch the set out a little bit, loosen up the bricks if you want it to spin like a lot faster. But pretty cool. I like that. Which one are we going to land on? What do you translate as? No idea. You can translate them yourself. Good luck, good fortune to you, good health. That's all the usual stuff. On the back here, that is a printed piece on the brick, by the way. It's on the other one too, Teddy Bear Collection. You can always invert that if you don't want that to show. And you have some little bunny rabbits there. So you can actually put the bear standing here on the set. The other one you can't. You can put them there for display. So these are just cute little Chinese New Year sets that are available now. And maybe afterwards you want to buy it so you can display them next year. By the time this video is out, Chinese New Year's will have been over. Over. All right. Let's look at the main guy. So what you're looking at now is from In Bricks, the teddy bear collection. This is like the bear cafe. 881101. We don't have to look at the box because I actually showed it to you in my last video, the blog one. Go watch it if you haven't. You can see what the shiny shimmery box looks like. But I can't show you the manual here which is pretty big and very nice. Do I have any issues? Not really many really issues. It's just a little bit thin on each floor. You gotta be careful with the plate because they're using multiple plates. So can kind of flex. And the same thing I mentioned in the Chinese New Year one, the background of having all those little bear, I know they're kind of like hidden, but it was kind of irritating. I would like to have been more plain so it's easier to, to get in there. And the set, unfortunately, yes, it does have stickers. This is Inbricks, man, it's the same as the Kubamon video that you've just seen with the bear. So yes, stickers, but the stickers actually look fine. But general impressions, this is like a dollhouse style. It's so much fun to put together, like so different, unique. It might not match going with a lot of your sets, but it's still a very, very fun set to have around that's different, especially I've been doing so many modular buildings. This is clean and different. You do get three teddy bears. You just look at them while they're right there. The detail on each guy is really good, but they're very angry looking, right? They're like, hmm, cheer up, man. You got the cook there. And they build all the same, except you can add the hats on and the coats and the apron. The cook looks really good. The printing on these guys actually look really great. You got the barista there and this guy who looks like a detective. It makes the set actually look not even like a Lego brick type thing, you know? But y'all want to see this. A lot of detail there. I like how the second and third floor is totally open, but same deal, as you go up, everything kind of shrinks really small. There's still a lot of fun stuff going on. It's not the craziest amount of detail. We start on the front there. You got the awning and the name of the bear, the green and the white color. The sticker is going over multiple tiles, so that is one giant sticker. I also like the color and the tone. It's not like crazy, right? There's nothing like disgusting about it. The brown looks really good, and the doors are all prints, by the way. And even the little flower bed on the window piece, that's pretty cool. So I like that. You got some tables and chairs there and the umbrellas just fit, man. You gotta put it all together and then put it on. If the umbrella falls off and you try to put it on, it will, it will for sure hit the awning. 
But I like that look and they use the grill pieces for like the chairs and the table. You got a sticker there, there's a brunch and some flower pots there. Very pretty, I like it. And since the second floor is kind of open, might as well look there. You got this nice open balcony look and there's a sign there that says book club. And look at all these little pieces like an ice cream cart and snack because that is a snack shop on the top. So it's like a cafe on the bottom, a snack shop on the second floor. And then when you come around the corner here, this must be like the book library area. There are some printed pieces, the old school telephone there and the clock. I like the look of that and the cabinet back there. It's like a hybrid library type thing. And you have a lamp that's like on a flower bed that's kind of strange. It's so peaceful and serene. I like it like this for change. I'm just maybe so used to other rooms looking all the same, you know? And it looks like a record there. There's no record player. I like the staircase as you go up to the third floor there. The third floor has a little picnic area. Got some snacks there and a camera. And I like how the lights kind of wrap around and kind of string up to the awning. That's actually pretty neat. And look, you got a little swing. Those are printed pieces on the swing. And yeah, the swing totally works for sure. And I like this little rooftop piece. It's all open up there. If the whole thing is open up, they didn't have to put that there. But the flowers and the vines going around it look really good. If I move to the side here, you can see some of that, how it's open. So when we come to the back here, it's really cool because it does open up on each floor. If I can find it here, the handle's right here. If I go like that, you can go, yeah. Now I can really look inside here. You can open up about there and this side as well. You can open up the little small sweet shop there, which is great because it's, it's tight to get your hand on if you try to go from the other side. That is really cool if I spin it to the front here. Like that, there you go. The only unfortunate thing is, yeah, like sticker, sticker, sticker. Those stickers are actually covering up the different color of the bricks on the other side. They're just like trying to hide the imperfection. So you don't have to actually use those stickers, but they're okay. What's the other cool thing about the set? It can come off like a modular. Like you can take this floor off here, like that. And you can actually take off this floor, like that. Easy to take off, nothing's falling off. Except the teddy bears have fallen over. You get an idea right there. Now you can really, really get your hands inside here and you did like a playhouse. But just that warning again, if I flip the second floor here, there's no support here, right? Nothing's hanging onto there. So if you push down on it, it will for sure fall off. So you might want to put something to kind of hold it better or there's something underneath this thing. You put more pieces down here to hold it up. Brick lights? I don't think this one actually came with brick lights. Now that I think about it, I'm like, did it come with brick lights? I don't remember. Yeah, use your own brick lights, finally. Got to worry about that. So back to the first floor here, if I open it up, it is not tiled, damn it. If it was tiled too, I think it would have held up the floors a lot better. But you have a sticker there of a bear in the rug. Home, I think it says behind him. You got a welcome sign on the table, which is printed. The tables and chairs are a little bit high, or the chairs are very simple. That was the only thing I didn't really like too much about the set. It's like, oh, I wish there was more like detail in those. But on the corner here, little seating area with the lights hanging down. And a little shelf area, kind of like Starbucks, you know, where you can buy the cups and stuff there. Coffee, my best friend. Product list, coffee and life. It's cute, I like that. The bears can't sit down, so you know, you probably want to put your own figures inside there. Then we come to the main counter here. They have the little bear printed on the window. And look at the pieces inside, those are all printed. Ooh, it even has the bear on there. Makes me hungry now. Damn, I gotta go for lunch, man. I've been filming so much this morning. Looks like a little coffee machine on the counter and a little cake. On the back wall, a lot more little details there. More simple pieces, but more printed parts on the bottom. You got a croissant along the counter there. Looks like a coffee machine. A menu sticker there in Chinese. I would have preferred to see like pictures of drinks. Use another sticker from another set. And the back wall that folds open, there's some decoration there. Coffee time. A trans clear bear. And another picture of a bear holding some coffee. Overall, very cute first floor, I like this. And then the second floor, which we've already seen most of it, it's just a sweet shop we haven't seen. When you come inside, it's really small, but they have a little like blender piece. I don't think I've seen that before. I was like, is that new? The little sign there that says Teddy's Farm, a moo moo here. A very, very small counter there to bake the cake and a fireplace there with some wood. So they even managed to fit that in there. It's very small, but hey, that's cool, man. You have space to put a figure inside. I'm happy with this floor, man. And the last floor we saw already. So yeah, we're all done with the set. Very cute, fragile, but I put it all back together. You do have to make sure you line it up 
Make sure you get the studs in there properly. Don't let it flop around. It is very weak on these parts, so do be careful for that. There, there, there. Draw together. Let's measure this sucker up and let's drop this B arch. All right, the video is complete. It's time for dimensions and heights, and then we're gonna destroy this thing. So take out your 32 by 32 base plate first. Base plate, put it here. You're looking right there at about 24 studs by 20. So plenty of room on the base plate. You can put a little bit more things and scatter it around. It's not too big. Now take out your one by four bricks. Let's check the height. If I stack it up to about here, it, it's just a little bit over there. That's around 29 bricks in height. All right. Now on to the fun part. I'm very scared, man. Oh, this thing's gonna fly all over the place. Goodbye, teddy bears. Nice knowing you guys. Actually, this, this part is pretty okay, man. Yeah, just a couple things came off, not too bad. The inside is pretty intact. And just the rooftop part. And all the little, little, little trees and all the little bushes all came off. That's easy to fix, man. Oh, it's time to get out of here. So there you guys go, the Teddy Bear Collection Cafe from Inbricks. I like it, I love it. It's available in the store for a limited time. I wanna mention that because I don't know how long these things are gonna last for, as always. If you watch this video like four years from now, Sorry, man. You lost out. Get it now while you can, while you watch this video. If you like it, just get it. I think it's worth it. Too expensive? Boo hoo hoo. You can always find this somewhere else if you can. Maybe you can save a little bit more. But you know, we buy from us. I'll kiss it and stroke it for you. All right, there you guys go. Okay, time to take a little break. Until next time, you know, hang in there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm not going on forever, but it might be just a little while before I come up with another video because I'm gonna be flying all over the place. Thank you, anyway, for everything. Thank you, thank you. Until next time, break me out!